Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about the Cowboys victory. It's plain and simple. This guy is a bad motherfucker right here. Got this at the Cowboys Pro Shop. Just came out recently, as far as I know. Number 11, Michael Parsons, the lion. The lion does not sleep tonight. He is wrecking the league. And he's on our team, bro. So, man, what a win. Cowboys 30 to 0. I mean, <laughs> 30 to 10. All right. Another ass whooping uh, defensively, man, defensively. So this defense is willing the team the victory, the victory, the victory, right? Cowboys offense just doing enough, you know, to put points on the board, you know, but they are getting the points. So that's, that's good to see, you know, what, what I really love about this team though, is your league MVP. Michael Parsons. Oh, he's not a quarterback or a running back. You know, this kind of twats. Yeah, I know, but it's this time that, uh, like anything else in this world, times are changing, all right? We need to put a defensive player as a league MVP, and I think the right guy to do it is this guy right here. This is this dude, dude right here, number 11, Michael Parsons. All right, spread the word. Start, start putting it out there, bro. League MVP, Michael Parsons, all right? Oh, but it's always a quarterback. A little fucking twat. It can be Micah. Uh, this guy is just unstoppable. Today, another multiple sack game. First in, forcing turnovers, fumbles, all kinds of shit. This guy's all over the place. Uplifting the team. He reminds me of, uh, of, of a Ray Lewis type of presence where he uplifts the entire team. The swagger is going across the team. Everybody's walking around with it, the swagger, and, and that's important, man. You you need a team with swagger that uh, can punch people in the mouth, make you remember it, and make you fear it the next time they see it. So that's what the Cowboys. I mean, they look like right now, man. They, they got to keep it going, right? So what I what I do want to see, though, you know, we're talking about winners and losers. I want to see this Cowboys offense turn it up, man. Light it up in the red zone, man. They're getting too too bullshitty there in the red zone. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm I'm okay with field goals, man. But be elite. Don't be very good or or oh, it's it's just enough. I hate that mindset. Oh, it's just enough. You just you just need en enough and let the defense carry it. Fuck that, bro. Be fucking badass on offense too, man. I hate that pussy mindset. Oh, all we gotta do is this. Not turn it over. Be conservative. Be a fucking little pussy fuck out of here man i, I want to score touchdowns bro plain and simple man and and i'm sure all you fans want to too i mean yeah field goals are okay right now you know but when you get when you get into the into the meat of the season where you're looking at clinching and you're looking at and you know at the playoff run you gotta be clicking on all sides man you can't be doing field goals um, against, you know, um, another behemoth, another Goliath like like uh, San Francisco. You can't do it, man. And if we're going to get over that hump, bro, which I want us to do and which every fan should aspire to do, you should be more efficient in, in the red zone. That's all I'm saying, man. Yes, I'm happy with the win. I don't want to see any pussies out there. Be Just be happy with the win and this and that. You fucking little cunt. Those guys drive me up the wall, man. I, I'm about, you know, being the alpha metal and then just getting out here and whooping everybody's ass, man. Like, that's what you should aspire to be. You know what I mean? So, that's all I want to see. You know, get, punch it in, bro. Jet sweep, tight end. I mean, that was a goofy play to me. A tight end jet sweep, stew. That was some Kellen Moore bullshit, bro. Let that press call with his big 240, whatever the fuck, pound body. Punch that shit in, bro. We got a monster offensive line. You, you, you're, you can get in there, man. You know, get in there. You know, so that's all I want to see. If you do that, plus this, plus this defense. I mean, you're totally destroying people. You know what I mean? I, I don't want to squeak by. I, I want to destroy people. So offensively, you know, uh, I do have questions. And where the fuck is Michael Gallup? <laughs> all right, and. Brandon Cooks was missed today. Right? I think if you have Brandon Cooks in this game, you you are, I think the offense definitely looks a lot better, man. I, I think you do score more in the red zone. So that's my only concern. If if you lose one of these guys that can that can give you that little edge over the hump kind of, kind of thing, 
you know, you, you will struggle. You saw the combo struggle. I mean, it's a just defense is really, really good. So you're not going to see many more of these types of defenses. So, you know, that being said, some of these upcoming games, you know, a little bit later down the road, you know, you should have opportunities to really have your way with people in the red zone. You know what I mean? Uh, Washington looks like they're playing better here, but they, they haven't seen the Cowboys ferocious defense yet. Um, San Francisco, we see them week five. That's that's going to be a fun. That's that's going to be a litmus test for, for both of these teams. Where are they at? You know, this is the '90s rivalry all over again. These, these two teams have really built their teams to to go on a run. You know what I mean? Um, so it's a fun time to, to be a fan of of the uh, of the NFL, the Cowboys, and a, a young player like this, Mike Parsons just in year three and this guy's just totally dominating bro let me know what you guys think about the cowboys win here you know who are your winners and losers like i said my loser part is, is just the red zone clean that shit up bro start scoring touchdowns all right uh, other than that man everybody played relatively well we didn't fuck up and you know fumble and bumble all over the place and i think the kicker is is really kind of settled in now um the defense the secondary deron bland i mean Everybody's just playing really, really good, man. I haven't seen a team like this play in a long time. Like, they look badass, bro. I think McCarthy coupled with Dan Quinn, it's a perfect marriage. You know what I mean? Mike, uh, I mean Mike McCarthy taking over the play calls. I think it has been it has been a blessing. You know, we're not throwing the ball fifty fucking times a game, which was stupid. So he's controlled that, man. You know, so. I like what I'm seeing so far. Let's keep it going, guys. Victory Monday again. Shout out, about, shout out to everybody that, that, that is behind this team right now, man, because we're kicking ass, but there's always room to get better, right? So that's all I have tonight, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the, the game here in the comments. And, you know, upcoming game, man. What do you think about the upcoming game here? Let me know what you guys think. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. See you for the next one. Peace.